basically my dad was just like, man, you tripping. Like, you need to take a break from her type junk, get your mind right. And of course I was like, I'm not trying to do that. But mm-hmm. he was basically like saying like, you're going to have to, like, you need to take a break from her. So I was just like, okay, dad. But you know what I'm saying? All I did was I changed her name on my phone to one of my homies' names. Oh my God. <laughs> changed her name on my phone. This so, no. Slick stuff right there. Slick, slick. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. But I would say that the biggest thing in my life that draw me close to God was this relationship that I had right before I blew up. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, what happened, what, what happened was, um, I'm about, I'm about 17, about to turn 18 at this time. And <laughs> like, at that time, like stuff is out. So like I had dropped, if I can be honest, like things are going well. Like I'm still, I'm, I'm signed to Toby, but I didn't come out yet. Because you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He's not putting me out. Yeah, until you're 18. <laughs> so I'm just, you know what I'm saying, still growing. Like I'm I'm growing. I'm in this boot camp every day mm-hmm. type thing. Um, and it's like right, this is right before everything started going crazy for me. Um there was this girl in our hometown. Slowly, you know what I'm saying, started talking, started whatever, started talking more. Um and uh she because of who i was you know what i'm saying in the in the city i was kind of like popular because of what i did because of what you did and also was it like the church connection and your family of worship team and like were you guys known in the area yes 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 right right known in the area yes for sure um and my dad was pretty popular back in the day too so it's like okay okay this kelly cole son got it okay then it's like on top of that it's like okay i'm doing music i'm doing big things it's like i was really popular in the city okay um so because of that she always thought i was just like a player type Mm. you know saying he always got girls with you will type thing and i I took that as a challenge like no i'm a I'm a lover, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I would never, ever do no joint like that. Um, and so I just started talking to her more, like, showing her who I was really was. When we started talking, like, I was just I was just really trying to chill with her because, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about my career. I'm like, man, I don't really have time to invest into a relationship right now. Um, but <clears throat> what happened was I was I was literally in Nashville working on music. And I was texting her, like, you know what I'm saying, on my downtime type thing. And, like, she was basically telling me her dad was basically saying, like, I had to date her. Like, or, like, stop talking to her. Type oh, thing. Like, okay. I can't talk to her. Yeah. And so, for me, <laughs> looking back at this, I was like, man, I'm mad dumb. Like, I should have just been like, okay. But for me, I'm thinking, like, all the, oh, you're a player. You don't really want to be in a relationship with me. That was all playing in my head. Yeah. So I was like, nah, like, I'm going to be in a relationship with it type thing. So when I got home, I started talking to my dad about it. I was like, yeah, I think I really like Shady. I think I'm going to be in a relationship. He was like, you don't think it's a coincidence that God put, I mean, like, the devil put a girl in your life, like, right before things about to go crazy. Like, he just asked me that question. Yeah. And I was just like, nah. Like, <laughs> Of course not. No. 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 <laughs> um, I get in a relationship. Um, get in the relationship. To say the least, it started off well, then turned into hell. Basically, my dad was just like, man, you tripping. Like, you need to take a break from her, type junk, get your mind right. And of course, I was like, I'm not trying to do that. But mm-hmm. he was basically like saying, like, you're going to have to. Like, you need to take a record with her. So I was just like, okay, dad. But you know what I'm saying? All I did was I changed her name on my phone to one of my homies' names. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> changed her name on my phone. This so, no. slick stuff right there. <laughs> slick, slick. <laughs> he kind of asked me. He was like, you been talking to that girl. 
And I was like, man, sometimes, like, sometimes she'll just, you know what I'm saying, send me a scripture before I got to bed type. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to <laughs> cap. I'm trying to cap. Like, I mean, not really, but I'm really talking to her type thing. Um, he was like, man, you just don't get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He tried to talk to me like, man, you really need to stop, Taija. And so I'm just not listening. I'm in my room. I just started yelling to God. I'm like, God, if this girl not for me, I need you to tell me now. I don't need to be waiting no 40 days, 40 nights. I don't need to be fasting. Like, I need you to tell me right now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I say amen. Um, I get a call from an old producer. Um, he used to produce for me when I was like 14. And mind you, I'm like 17, about to turn 18 at the time. So I ain't talked to him like three, four years. Calls me randomly. Uh, and, and I answer for him, like, yo, what's up? And then he's like, man, what's good, man? He was like, I ain't gonna hold you long. He was like, I just had to tell you this. He was like, I had a dream last night. He was like, nothing in my dream, like, after I had this dream, like, it wouldn't let me not tell you what this dream was. Like, something in me wouldn't tell you, wouldn't let me tell you what this dream was. And so he was like, in my dream, he was like, you was building a wall. And he was like, on the other side of the wall, it's like everything you work for your entire life, your entire career. He was like, he was like, words, all that stuff. He was like, he was like, so man, he was like, I don't know what you're doing. He's like, I don't know if you're messing with a girl or what. He's like, but you need to cut that, cut that, go, let that go. Wow. Tight jump. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, that's kind of crazy. But mm -hmm. I'm still dumb. I'm like, nah, that's just a coincidence. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm I mean, you don't to... want to believe it. You're enjoying your time right. with her. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, nah, whatever. When, mind you, I just asked God to show me, you know what I'm saying? And he showed me. That's how it is. Like, we yeah. like man, God, help me, show me. Give me a sign. He give us a sign. Nah, not that yeah, sign. Not, I yeah. ain't want that. I ain't <laughs> want that different sign. sign. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so then uh, my mom texted me. She was like, Aaron, I think you need to break up with Shady. And I'm like, oh. My thought process is, man, she just with him right now. He talking mm. to her about it. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to justify everything. Like, no. You got three people so far tell you. Yes. With her, but you still yes. justifying. Okay. <laughs> justify. So I talked to one more person, my, uh, like my mentor, EJ. He's still like my mentor now. He's like a pastor in Texas. Um, and I just call him, mind you, I ain't talked to him in a minute since I've been talking to her low key. Like, and that's how it always is. Like, when you're doing something you're not supposed to do, you don't mm -hmm. talk to the people. Tight <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Um, So I just call him. He's like, man, what's good? Like, we catch up. And I told him, I'm like, man, I'm about to move to Nashville with Shorty, man, and just say, forget it all, tight jam. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm so funny stuff. He's like, man, what you talking about? And I was like, man, Pop's trying to get me to break up with Shorty. I'm not trying to do it. Uh, he trying to say that he not going, you know what I'm saying? manage me no more or anything be involved in my career and he says man he was like man i've been thinking that this whole time as you've been posting there and all this stuff and so when he said it i the spirit revealed to me I was okay. Like, okay so i'm like dang so he was like man he was like man you god wants to take you to so many places he was like you just stuck in something that you know what i'm saying he's trying to get you out of he was like but i promise you like if you be obedient to god like he's gonna bless you type jerk and I was like, man, at that time, like, I'm like, man, I better be Michael Jackson. Or I'm trying to sacrifice Shetty. You know what I'm saying? I better be Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, going stupid. <laughs> um, but no cap, when I broke up with her, I went to Nashville uh, for a writing session. And that's when I wrote Right on Time. Mm. I wrote Right on oh. Time. <sighs> That came out, you know what I'm saying? When number one, I'm, I moved out of my parents' house. I live in Nashville now. <laughs> Been here for like three, four years. So that was the most detrimental thing that was like about to break or make or break me. And when I yeah. saw that, I actually trusted God and he actually came through. It's like now understanding like even more, it's like, man, he didn't have to do that. And like now when I trust God about things, it's like, man, knowing knowing that I can trust God and know like knowing that I can trust that He's in control at all times, it's like even when He doesn't do what, you know what I'm saying, I think I want him to do, 
Mm-hmm. He's always thinking of me, and he always knows the plans for me. So, like I said, I think that was the biggest, like, lesson I probably learned in my entire life so far. Yeah.